face it, teachers are overworked. On an average week, I'll, I'll spend at least five hours doing marking. And I think marking is probably the most important thing that I can do. But I need to be more efficient. This is killing me. Every year it's the same and I put so much effort into it, and the kids go, yeah, that's great, okay, and they throw it away, and then at the end of the year, I'm asked to collect all this data, and I'm like, ah, oh, where's my scraps of paper that I put there, or, or where's that bit of information, or, or what did I say to that student again, and there's so much that needs to be done with marking. Now, this is what we're at. We're at trying to make a mark grid that's gonna kind of just take care of everything for us, and we're gonna try and take that, that whole idea of um, assessment for learning to that next level. Try and keep it in one place, try and communicate better with the students whilst keeping all the data for ourselves and for our team leaders and our heads of department and our headmasters and, and all the rest of it. So this is it. The A-Level Music Tech Marking Grid. We've got three files here. We've got an Excel spreadsheet, nice and easy. In this spreadsheet, you've got two, two documents. You've got an AS Music Tech and an A2 Music Tech. Nice and easy. Keep all of our music tech projects together. Job done. Then we've got these report masters, A2 and AS. This is how we're going to communicate with all the different people that need to be communicated with. The students, the teachers, everything. Okay. With this, because it's a Word document, we've got two options. We can save it. Each time we, we send out a mail merge, we can save it for ourselves, but we can also send an email to the students. You know, how good is that? In one click, I can do what used to take me hours and hours and hours. And literally, by using this over the last six months, it saved me so many hours. And this is what I'm aiming to do. So this particular bundle comes with the teachers pack of musictechstudent.co.uk. Let's crack on. So here we are. No surprises here. Everything that you have to mark against is in here. So let's start off. We've got the student's name. So we put the student in here. In order to communicate with the student, you do need one other piece of information, and that's their email address. This is the, at the end of the spreadsheet because this is the only time you're ever going to need it. Okay. So put their email address in, put their names in, and we can just leave that. Next thing, when we assess the work, this is really important. Every time you assess and you send out a report, you need to update this one. You need to show your heads of department, you need to show your students, their parents, whoever, that you are marking this constantly and you're keeping a record, a digital record. Every time you send out an email, that's a digital record that you are doing your job. That's fantastic. As we move through then, we've got all of the criteria that we use for A-level music technology. To make it even easier for you guys, I've added drop down boxes so you can't put numbers in that don't exist and every time you add a number to these lists so you can just type if you if you already know the number you want just type it in boom and it populates it here so the detailed mark the holistic so everything that you're kind of doing it, it does it for you here which is it's great at this point we're only dealing with the detailed marks now AS Music Tech is really a complicated kettle of fish because the UMS at UMS marks at unit one are quite off because the the actual exam, for instance, is marked out of 80, but when you actually get your final grade, it's only out of 60. And that's something we've done here as well. We've done all the UMS marking. We've done all the complex calculations for you. So, I mean, let's just go through and show you everything. So, like I said before, once you add these numbers in, it comes up and it populates it into this extra box for you. Job done. Oh, and it says, hey, you can't get five marks for that. So, what we need to do is make sure that we're inside the inside the range which is great we can only put in the right numbers um, it gives us the holistic it gives us the rank it also gives us a comment but I'll show you that in a minute we can type in a teacher's comment say come on John you need to step this up we've got two months left let's get this going you can add that there you also got where they're at with the logbook every year we lose so many marks with the logbook and half of that's just keeping track of it so what I've done here is is a five-pronged attack not started early stages low good high so once it gets that high you can just say well, you know what you're done job job done let's move on to the next bit and we've done that for every step of the logbook which is great so let's move on to task 1b and this is the same for task for, for the a2 as well don't forget to keep updating your assessment every time you look at their work every time you assess it add that in it's going to go off in the report all your mark criterias all your holistics your rankings your comments your logbooks everything's there which is great Next thing, so this is where it gets slightly complex because you have optional units and you have kind of compulsory units. So here are my three compulsory units here, 
or module, should I say, with inside of task 1C. So we can add that, but then in this blue area, these are our optionals, and only three of the highest will go forward into our into our actual tally. And you know what? We've done that for you. So no matter what happens here, if say for instance that's a high one at the minute, so if I change that to one, now it will calculate one of these. And it, it just does all the calculations for you. So you can see that it's done, you don't need to worry about it, and it gives you that. We're also going to take a lot of the writing out. In a minute you'll see that there's literally no writing to do because we literally we've done it all for you. So there's your logbook thing again. You've also got the marks for question 9 and question 10, which is great. Um, now, every year I give my students two mock exams. But when I'm assessing and having parents evening, I only really want to kind of show the parents the, the top one. And so what we've got here is something that we say, okay, um, for the first one they got an A, um, and the second one they got an A, but in the first one they got um, 67, and you'll notice that the, UP, the UMS is done for you here, so although they scored 67, the actual UMS is only 53, okay? Um, so the one we want to take forward is this 53, or this 67, and you notice in the actual estimated marks, it's all been brought forward. Now every year, there's so many teachers that make mistakes. They give their their students an estimated grade and because of the way music tech is it's almost always uh, a grade higher than where they're actually at because this this whole UMS thing and the way the the exams calculated it normally make you know it's 20 whole marks that you can be out and that that's well over well over a grade so what we've done is we just put all that into one spreadsheet we've done all the UP, UMS for you so those mistakes don't have have to happen and the good thing is is you don't have to spend hours working out the difference between the raw mark and the U UMS, which which is great, and as you can see, it's all done. At the end of the year, you're obviously going to want to compare all your results. We've added this extra one here, so you can say, okay, um, this is what I thought they got, this is what they did get, and you can kind of see how off you were and where you need to improve. And it's it's nice because it's it's next to each other. We've also done the same for the A2. When you get to the A2, we're just asking you to manually put in their AS mark. Okay, we don't bring it forward from this sheet just purely because your your student list will change, um, the grade boundaries will change. So basically, you just start with a new sheet and you just bring this mark forward. It will calculate the actual. If I put this in here, so if I put um, 150 in, you'll notice it will calculate the grade because all the UMS has been done for us. So it will calculate that, and then it will take it forward to the end of the year for us. So when you're doing your, your calculations and you're working out your grades for your students, it's already done, look. It's already added that onto it, which is which is fantastic. So once they start getting more marks, you'll notice it will go up. All those calculations are done, it's in one place. Can't say any more than that, this is fantastic. <sighs> the next bit, the, the best bit, this is the thing that's gonna save you hours and hours and hours and hours and hours, and I can't emphasize that enough, really. Once you've done that, We've got this Word document. So if I go back to the Finder again, and you'll notice there's three documents, all of which, these two Word documents are linked to the mark grid. It's going it, to, the reason for this is literally we can send out our reports using this. Now, I would say to you guys, you need to be sending two, maybe three reports a year, as early as you can, as often as you can, so the students know exactly where they're at. This is going to make life easier for you, it's going to make life easier for them. So here, here's the kind of template that I'm using, and I'm pulling in all, the, see all these data here? I'm pulling all of this data from the mark, from the spreadsheet into this, so that we can just basically press, push a button and it goes off to our email list that we set up before. I am going to do full tutorials for this, so you guys don't have to worry, because there are a few bugbears with, with Mail Merge and Excel and, and the way the file structures work together. So I'm going to do a few tutorials just to help you out. But I just want you to see how powerful this is. So straight off, and you can edit any of this. It's not a problem. So it says, hi, John. Um, we're sending, that, sending this out on the 30th of August. Um, this is when I last assessed your task 1A. And I can turn this on as well. So here it is here. It works slightly different in Windows, but turn it on. And you can see, this is the powerful stuff. You've entered in this, and you've generated this. How cool is that? Straight off the, off the mark scheme, set out by Excel. This is, at Excel, this is what they would give you. So, I mean, that's great. And as you go through, all of the comments are done. They're all done for you. There's nothing to worry about. You know, once you keep your spreadsheet in one place, it will generate the rest for you. All of your mock exams, all of your units, where they're at, it just doesn't get any easier than that. And then when you've finished, 
all you would do is you'd press, you'd enter your numbers that you wanted and you'd press your email and off it would go. Once again, I will do tutorials for that. I really hope you like this. If you can see that this is going to save you a lot of time. You do need to be a teacher member to get this this particular pack. This is only open for Music Tech student the, on the teacher account, which is currently set at one nine nine. Which you know, it's, yeah, it's worth every penny as far as I'm concerned. Okay, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, give me a shout if you need anything or if you think that we could add more to it. Um, and I'll see you next time.